Good morning, it is Monday, it is just gone half past nine, I have put some makeup on because I'm actually going out today, <laughs> leaving the house. Um, but yeah, I have got last week's vlog to edit because <sighs> with the farmer's market yesterday and a really busy Saturday, I didn't get a chance to actually get it done and dusted, so I've just got a little bit more editing to do. I'm going to do that this morning. I have some really exciting order-based paperwork to chase. Um, one of my wholesale orders that I sent to Canada on the 31st of July hasn't actually arrived yet and it's tracked, but there doesn't seem to be any more information other than it arrived in Canada on the 1st of August, so I've got to have a little chase up of that. Um, like I said, I'm going out, and then this evening I've got kickboxing, as usual. Not a particularly exciting day studio-wise, but looking forward to kickboxing and also looking forward to lunch, going with Darren, who is my pal who you saw in my vlog that featured us going on a trip to a plant nursery. We're having Byron Burger because Darren is a terrible, terrible influence on me and I'm supposed to be shredding for the wedding. Also wanted to show you these that arrived at the weekend. Um, I showed them on my Instagram stories, but I thought I'd show you guys too. So I'll put a link to Katie's website in the comments below, but she makes these incredible surfaces. Um, and they're just so cool. So I've got a pink um, circle, a white flecked with pink and like a midnight blue, uh, the same in little squares. I got a sample of the um, dark and white, it's like a grey blue, uh, and then this one, um, which is a super cool shape, uh, which has these like yellowy, musty yellowy little cute blue bits, green flecks, all kind of coloured flecks inside it, and it's really, really beautiful. Um, and yeah, so Katie's made these surfaces and I'm basically going to use them for some product shots um, to refresh some of my um, product images, like cards and things like that, for the shop. Um, but they're beautiful, they feel super smooth and they're just really lovely and obviously because she hand pours them and pops all these different um, little bits in them, everything that she makes is totally unique, so yeah. Really, really happy with these, um, and they arrive really quickly as well, considering they're custom made. So thank you very much, Katie. I love them. So I'm 30, I am ready to go out the door, meeting Darren at two at Byron, and I've just finished editing last week's vlog. It took me flipping ages, but basically, you'll have probably already seen, but Bristol had loads and loads of like B-roll footage with cool little quirky places and not a lot of speaking, so that took quite a lot of clipping together and adding the audio. So hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you'll enjoy this week too, even if it isn't as exciting. Anyway. That was really good and now I am just off to rice up to get some groceries and boots I think to get some toiletries for um, a little thing I'm doing in the bathrooms at the wedding. So I have got all the bits I needed in town and I'm now in Aldi getting some strange looks from people going to their cars next to me because that's how it is I guess. Um, anyway, I am in the cleanest car ever. I don't think it's been this clean even since I bought it, but like, look, footwell so tidy and everything's so shiny and new. It's like, yeah, looking pretty good. This car is like 2004 Reg. So it's pretty old, but it's looking really good and it smells really fresh. Anyway, I'm at Aldi. Did I say that already? Because a pal, Catherine, tipped me off that Aldi might have some really nice large ceramic planters for bargainous prices that are white. So uh, I'm going to have a little look, see what they've got. Sainsbury's 
it's actually gone the time I should be at kickboxing, but ooh, that's loud. But decided today to just have a chill night with Jack because we haven't had one forever and for the last multiple weeks. Um I've been gymming five five nights a week and so we haven't actually spent much time together. So ooh, so close to face. <laughs> so uh yeah, we're gonna cook a nice dinner of um, barbecue jackfruit burgers with pineapple from Minimalist Baker because it's one of our favourites and then have a chill night and watch Game of Thrones because YOLO guys, YOLO. For those of you that haven't had jackfruit, it looks terrifyingly like flaked fish or salmon or something disgusting. Um, but this is the brand that we use. Um, it's Kind of expensive, I guess, because it's $2.99 a can. Um, but it's literally got nothing in it except uh, jackfruit, water, sea salt, and lime juice. Um, yeah, which is obviously good because you don't want any additives and all crap and chemicals in it if you can help it. Um, but yeah, like when you think about it, it's not actually that expensive. I mean, it's three pound a can, but when you think about buying like pulled pork sandwich or like a huge piece of pork to make into pulled pork, you'd pay a lot more than three pound for it. Um, so it just like me and Jack were saying like, oh, it's kind of expensive, so we should only get it as a treat. And then we're like, do you know what? When we used to go out and buy meat all the time and everything else, it's a hell of a lot cheaper still. So just because it's in a can, you know, doesn't mean we should be like outraged by the price of it. And it tastes really freaking good. So yeah. Bought it, enjoying it. But yeah, look, this is how you prep it. So you kind of just shred the lumps. Um, and that's how it kind of, when it cooks, it goes even more flaky and it has the texture and the kind of juiciness of pulled pork. It's really good. jackfruit on uh, pineapple, cucumber, tomatoes, runner beans, char grilled, lettuce and then we're going to have it with Frank's hot sauce, coconut yoghurt, salsa and all the nicey treats. Oh and there's avocado in there somewhere too. Good morning, it's Tuesday, my hair is particularly wild today. Um, I am off out now um, to I was going to say Ikea then, but not Ikea, to John Lewis with Jack. We're going to have a look at their kitchens and hopefully see whether we can afford to redo our kitchen with them um, and have a look at their ranges. That should be good. Then I'm heading straight to Oaxaca to meet Kate and Charlotte and Helen, my Etsy team leaders, uh, to discuss more finer details of our Christmas craft market, which we're super excited about in Southampton. And then after that, then after that I have to come back and do my work before I have to go to the gym this evening. So, busy day ahead and I've just been filming, I don't know if you can see my tripod over there and all the plants over there, I've just been filming a YouTube video um, specifically talking about plant pots, um, independent makers and high street brands and where to source them. So that should be live probably, let's be honest, before this goes up next week, if I can. Yeah, right, I've got 2% camera battery and one minute left on the uh, memory card. So I'm doing really well today. Might have to take some footage on my phone. Whoops. Actual sunshine, that's a rarity. Um, I am gym geared up. Um, off to the gym for legs, bums and tums. Uh, didn't film anything earlier because my camera died, of course. So hey ho. Oh my word, both of us look like we've just had a shower. We haven't, together. We definitely just did legs, bums and tums. And then Gladys made me do 20 minutes on the stepper and I swear to God, I thought I was gonna die. Like, I've never been so funny. And my legs are just crampy but cramps. Um, so yeah, but, oh my God, my hands shaking so much. The camera's like, oh, spasm hands. Um, and now we're gonna do an abs session because why not? Jack's not at home, so I might as well stay here longer. And I have my lunch today at Oaxaca and Byron yesterday, so I need to. <sighs> I'm gonna get on. It is Wednesday morning, the cats have the vets. 
I've just chased Luna around the house to put her into her carrier and she's now shrieking in there. And Momo's just totally unaware in his teepee, so I'm gonna put him in his sit. So I'm gonna put him in his now. Momo, are you gonna go to the vets? Vets, you wanna have your jabs? Doesn't even care. My succulents are flowering. That was the big beast I got a few weeks ago. Look at it. They're so pretty, they're such a nice colour. And this guy. So pretty. Perfect avocado today. That skin just peeled right off. We're gonna have it on Hoxton, um, rye bread with some hummus. And that's about it really, and some franks, because always. Oh, I look terrible today. <laughs> Good morning, it is Thursday and I apologise for the naff content slash lack thereof this week on the vlog because one, my camera ran out of battery and then I forgot to charge it and then two, my memory card was full and I couldn't seem to delete things off it so it was really really frustrating but anyway, it's Thursday and we're back in the game um, and with some really exciting posts, are you ready for it? So recently ordered this off of eBay paid a bit more actually because it was supposed to be from a UK seller but this has arrived from China so that was a lie um, can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> Ooh. kinda fancy so basically this is for the gym <laughs> and you put your big barbell weight through there and then this bit you can put the weight, obviously not with one hand because it's really heavy, uh, on your back like that to support the weight and then it means that the metal bar doesn't dig into your spindly shoulders like it does with mine. Like squats and um, straight leg, good, like good morning, good night poses and um oh my gosh any um glute raises where you put the like barbell across your lap and like thrust basically hurts like hell on all of my bones so yeah they don't have any of these at the gym and they were like five pounds or something online so i was like Do you know what i'm investing in one of those and i'm gonna take it with me to step and tone tonight and hopefully I won't get really sore shoulders from where it digs right in. And then PT tomorrow, so couldn't be more excited. But yeah, couldn't be more of a boring uh, delivery if I tried. Anyway, today I am going to be hopefully working on some new product designs, specifically some patches because I had like an idea really late at night last night that I had to write down before I went to sleep because I don't know if you do it as well but I always have these good ideas literally right before I drift off to sleep and nine times out of ten I'm too lazy to actually get up and grab a pen and paper or even write it down on my phone and then I just totally forget about it. So last night I was like no grab your bujo, write it down, and so yeah, there's three patch designs I had an idea for and I'm going to try and get those done today um, so I can hopefully put an order through um, with my manufacturer for those and a couple more. So uh, I shall show you my initial sketches once they're done. <laughs> Luna's shouting from somewhere in the house so I leapt up thinking she's stuck somewhere and I've just turned around and Momo is sleeping in the enormous new plant pot I bought. <laughs> so now there's no way I can put a new plant in this planter because it's Momo's new bed. Are you a ridiculous beast? Are you the most ridiculous beast, hey? Don't worry, you can go back to sleep now. Silly sausage. And a nice bed. So, these are the initial kind of super rough, just idea pouring out of my head sketches. But basically these are gonna be like, patches 
but it's going to be like a pocket jungle and a pocket house and a pocket plant and then the idea is that like you'll iron these on to like a shirt or a t-shirt that's kind of got a pocket and then these all like peep out the top and look kind of cute hopefully um so i'm just having like a scroll through pinterest um at kind of tropical plants glass houses stuff like that just to kind of get some leaf shape inspiration and some kind of greenhouse inspo uh and then i'm going to start uh drawing them on my ipad into photoshop so i've just been sketching in um the like a bird of paradise plant because I thought he fills the space really nicely. I really need to make sure that I don't make it too complicated because it's a patch and it's going to be embroidered. Whilst you can have kind of fairly complex designs, really, really intricate ones, sometimes the detail gets lost on them. So I'm trying to make it super tropical without being crazy complicated um, because simple looks really good too. So I'm probably going to add some darker detail on these leaves um, and then some other plants in here too. So I've added a little bit more detail um, by two-toning the leaves, um, making the stems and the kind of central vein of the leaves a different colour, but I still kept it kind of simple. Um, I've done everything on a different layer so that I can kind of swap things around and edit stuff as I need to. And if I need to change the colours on things then I will just use colour overlay and I can just, you know, change the colours of the whole layer, each little detail individually. Uh, a little bit more perspective, I guess, um, having put in a little base there, still yet to kind of decide what other plant I'm going to have here, but I think I'm going to keep it really simple, like literally plant on each corner and one biggie here. So my Mac sounds like it's about to take off <laughs> with all of these millions of layers, but I'm just going to add some detail onto this guy and then possibly call it a day. Um, I'm hoping it won't be too detailed to be a patch, but if it is, I think I'll probably make it as a print because I actually quite like it. <laughs> really shocked. Jack's working from home today, so he has brought me a little desk lunch um, of sourdough with hummus and avocado and then rocket and tomatoes from the garden, which is really exciting. Yumma. So this is the rough kind of first sketch of my pocket jungle so your t-shirt pocket will go like that and then it'll poke out or your jeans pocket thought that'd be kind of cool and um yeah not sure about the colors but I kind of like them they're really different to what I would normally use um not sure if I need to play around a little bit more with this guy because some of his markings look a bit random but um other than that I am quite happy I think half past three it's actually sunny outside um wow yes that is a burger towel drying on the line don't judge me so i've stared at the computer screen for half past three so like well a lot of hours today basically i haven't stopped and i'm getting really frustrated with the colors of the like second patch i'm doing and i can't seem to get them right and i can't seem to get the placement right of everything so i am just going to take a little break Go and enjoy that sunshine in the garden, have a drink, maybe even have an ice cream, and uh, try and like reset my brain <laughs> and my eyes. It is now half past four and I am sat in the car outside the very glamorous Southampton Hospital um, because Jack is giving blood, which is super amazing and Jack is basically my hero for giving blood because you never know in life when you're gonna need blood you hope that you never need it but you just never know and giving blood saves a life every single time so yeah it makes me super proud of him and he doesn't think it's anything because he hasn't got a phobia of needles and he has good big fat bleedy veins which is great but I still think it's amazing and I still think it's really brave even if he thinks it isn't so uh, he gives blood every three months I sucked up the courage to go and give blood one time after being too scared for literally my entire life and when I got there they basically um, after doing the prick test and jabbing at my veins said that they weren't suitable because they're too small so a they'd probably collapse 
when the needle went in and B they wouldn't bleed quick enough for the blood donation to be valid so I was signed off as an unsuitable donor which was really gutting because I built up the courage to flip in do it for so long but also kind of good because I literally have an irrational panic attack inducing fear of needles so yeah I'm just proud that Jack does it um so yeah but anyway after we've um, left here, because he's finished, once he's finished bleeding, we are going to go to Sainsbury's because uh, the fridge is literally bare and we've got Jack's dad and stepmom coming over for the weekend, which will be really, really nice because they haven't seen our house yet and they're going to have a meal with us and my parents because we're getting close to the wedding now and just generally have a nice time with us before it all gets crazy. So I've got to get some food in the fridge because otherwise we'll have nothing to feed them and that does not a very good host make. So yeah, I'm going to sit here and play on my phone whilst I wait for Jack. Side note though, how freaking cute is this top? It's from my good pal Harriet who runs helloharriet.com and although she doesn't make these anymore with this um, print she does sell so many cute cat things she even does portraits totally go check her out I'll put a link obviously down below in the description it is quarter seven I'm off to step and tone and I just have to battle about 50,000 motorbikes as usual every Thursday to get to the gym which is really fun Definitely just proper twisted my ankle falling off the stepper in step and tone. It was like really hot today and the aircon wasn't working in the studio where we do our classes in and I don't know, I don't even know what happened but I fully fell and my entire weight just twisted over my ankle and I rolled like a little hedgehog onto my back <laughs> and it's really, really painful right now and I have to drive home <laughs> and have PT tomorrow and of course walk on it but it's just taken me like freaking ages to walk to the car from the gym because putting any weight on it is so painful. I feel like I'm being a real wuss right now but it hurts a lot. It's not broken, I know that. I'm gonna head home, ice it, take some ibuprofen um, and really hope that it feels better in the morning and that it's just like a twang rather than a full-on actual sprain so wish me luck with that one and um here's hoping i'm okay to use the clutch <laughs> oh what a class morning morning it is friday oh activating siri on my phone it's definitely gone 10 and i'm still in my pjs because i'm feeling sorry for myself this morning because my ankle is still really sore I can put weight on it, thank God, um, and I'm still gonna do PT tonight because, well, it was Abs' class that I barreled over onto it in, so he kind of knows, obviously, that it's sore. And hopefully we can just do upper body or laying down chest presses or something, you know, anything to take the hour of PT up that doesn't mean I skip it, but also doesn't mean I'm putting pressure on my ankle because it really does hurt. Um, it's a bit swollen, but it's not too bad. studio is tidy, mostly, um, which means floor space, um, and Charlie is watching something, who knows what, Big what, Brother. watching Big Brother, of course, didn't even know that was on, is that, that's on? Yeah. Oh. Whilst stuffing moons, because this bag of stuffing arrived, hurrah, and I've sewn up quite a few um, moons here that need to be stuffed so then when people order them they're ready to go and I don't have to get all stroppy and stressed. Just picked our very first and only cucumber <laughs> from the cucumber plant in the garden and a little harvest of tomatoes which is good. Um, I think they'd have them with our lunch. Super mishmash lunch of leftover stir fry rye toast with tomatoes from the garden, hummus, avocado, and cucumber from the garden with frank sauce and salsa. Obviously. By some miracle, we made it to the post office at the exact right time because we've just walked in through the door and the sky has darkened. Look how dark it is in our normally lovely light room and it looks like the apocalypse outside. So I'm glad we didn't get stuck in that. It's horrible, I was gonna pot some uh, plants up outside. Excuse the washing there still, but look, it literally looks like nighttime. 
What even is this? Lulu's come running in because obviously she doesn't want to get rained on. Lulu! Yes! Is it wet out there now? Oh dear. Much nicer in here, isn't it? I am adding extra soil into the base of this guy because he is like the leaning tower of Pisa and <clears throat> he doesn't look very happy so I'm trying to add some additional soil in also add some to the carpet the carpet? I don't even have carpet <laughs> the floor add some to the floor um, as I was doing but yeah, pack it in a bit more and hope that he stands upright I might even need to stick a support in like a bamboo cane or something but these guys are quite delicate because they have a thread root system like most tropical trees um, so instead of having like massive chunky tree roots like you think of with the tree because they're mostly cuttings um, and they're immature ones to be grown in pots they um, yeah they have they're basically like a piece of a bigger tree that has been rooted um, so they just have loads and loads and loads of skinny spindly tiny roots um, rather than any big strong ones so when you pop them up you've got to be really careful that you don't destroy those tiny roots otherwise you'll kill your beautiful tropical plant that you probably paid a fair amount for and yes i have definitely done that once <laughs> i learned from that mistake <sighs> so yeah hopefully he'll be happier This is an absolute joke! How? Like actual hail in mid-August. Gotta go to PT in this and I'm already sucking up the courage to go with a poorly ankle. Like, <laughs> this is not good! Well this is genuinely like nothing I've ever seen before. Look at the shed roof. Just documenting this moment where my studio is tidy. Everybody needs, everybody over here needs watering though. So I'm gonna do that now. Some will say August. Just gonna make a little snowman, I think. What? The actual. So I'm ibuprofen to the hilt and walking to the gym. I have PT at six is 10 to, so on time. Got my boxing gloves, got my new gym foam pad thing and I'm hoping that abs goes easy on me because I don't want to do anything with my flipping feet or my ankles or my legs. So upper body and core only, fingers crossed. And managed to survive it without using my ankle too much, which was really good, but I did get a massive telling off from abs for even coming to PT because you could see how small my ankle was. Um, so yeah, we did basically tons of arms and shoulders and lats and chest and core, which is all right actually. Now I've got to head back because PT ran over and Jack's dad and stepmom Kay um, should be at our house now. And Jack's making dinner, of course, which is very nice. So yeah.